Hey YouTube, welcome back to my silver channel. This is MN Silver slash Aquarium Keeping. Yay! Welcome back. So guys, I was I was at work today thinking about my nitrates in my aquarium tank. My nitrates have been always on the high side. They are always pretty high. And I've been trying to find a solution for my high nitrates. So I went to the aquarium store on my lunch break. I talked to a few people, a few employees. They told me there was nothing, nothing I can do. Basically, just do water changes. <clears throat> of course, I already knew that. So I think the problem that I'm having is that my beautiful rainbow tiger antlers are reproducing pretty fast and maybe my filters cannot keep up with them it's a possibility or it's very possible that I'm overfeeding I have been trying to grow my antlers at a fast rate so I feed them three times a day I use an outer feeder and I also feed myself maybe once a day blood worms. So that's three feedings every day. Usually about five hours apart. And my antlers are doing great. So I figured everything was fine. But my nitrates are always high. I always do a water change once a week, no matter what happens. I always make time to do a water change. I do a 50% water change. And when I came home today after work, so basically I purchased some new products. Let me get it right now. So when I was at the store, I purchased the nitrates from CCAM. CCAM. The nitrate removes nitrates, nitrates, ammonia, and organics. Let me give you the back, show you the back. These are the instructions. There we go. I hope my camera is able to focus on the letters. If you guys want to pause the video, this is the time. If you guys never tried this product. So let me move it a little more. A little more. It's the other section. So I purchased two of these. These, these are the 500 milliliters. As you can see, I got two of them. And I also purchased a, a filter bag as well. So, um, so I decided when I come home, I was going to think about this, find the best solution, and I decided to clean my filters, one of them. So I have an AquaClear 70 on the right, an AquaClear 110 on the left, and I decided to clean the AquaClear 110 on the left. So, I have this water. Actually, let me show you. I did a nitrous, nitrous test. So you can see this pretty high. And it's all, I did a water change three days ago. And this is my nitrates at the moment. At the moment, my nitrates are pretty close to 40 ppms only after three days guys i did a water change three days ago 50 percent of the water and my nitrates are this high something is going on as you can see i have a lot of plants i have small fishes and my nitrates are high but i'm pretty sure it's because my antlers are reproducing pretty fast as you can see, 
I'll give you an example. I have another female that is pregnant at the moment. Look at this female. She's definitely pregnant. She's going to be having her fry pretty soon. And these are more baby antlers. <laughs> these in the back are about, I don't know, two weeks old. These are more antlers. And these are the bait newborn fry antlers. They are a day and a half old, almost two days now. I will I actually change the breeding container to this one. I moved them. And I was able to count 18, 18 rainbow tiger antlers in total. They are so cute. They grow so fast. And this is the Aqua Clear 110 that I'm running. Aqua Clear 17, Aqua Clear 70, and my Auto Feeder that I feed three times a day. So I want to show you my media that I'm using. This is the Fubo brand. It's doing his job. I have my tank is cycle. Everything is good except for my nitrates. So, since I decided to to clean my Aqua Clean 110, this was a perfect timing for me to keep the dirty water. So I kept the dirty water. As you can see, it's filthy, full of good bacteria. Look at this, guys. This is the one of the sponges that I clean all dirty. As you can see so my idea is why not I use the denitrate little pebbles leave it in the dirty water for 24 hours or even more I already put it in the media basket media bag as you can see it's a lot it's pretty pretty heavy my idea is to use this in the back of the tank as a in the gravel and help boost the uh, anaerobic bacteria so let's place it in the dirty water I'm gonna leave it there for 24 hours maybe longer and hopefully it will absorb some of the bacteria I think I think it's gonna work all right let me Come back to the center again. All right, let me focus. So guys, I'm going to use uh, the nitrate pebbles as a gravel in the back of the tank. I'm going to leave it there forever. I'm not gonna touch it because I'm aware that both aerobic and anaerobic bacteria take a long time to grow and in this in the uh, and also why not try right or maybe i can try matrix as well from ccam if this doesn't work so guys this is what i this is my idea i hope i'm not making a mistake I really like how my tank looks, but these pebbles are very, very small and they are going to look like regular gravel. So I'm going to put them in the back of the tank. Hopefully I won't see it too much. And all right, that's one of my ideas. Oh guys, one second. I forgot to mention something. I was working on a little project yesterday, but I wasn't able to record it. So I want to show you. These are my Anubias that I received from H2O plants. So I crazy glued them in my beautiful slake. And this is how it came out. I use, and then before I finish, I also glued down some Java moss to cover the stems. So it could look more like I don't know, look look more 
like a real I don't know something I actually thought it looked better all right all right guys remember like this video subscribe and I will continue making more videos and coming up with new ideas this is why we are here to help each other and continue supporting this hobby I'm having a blast and guys thank you for watching and have a great day ciao